What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. I hope everyone's doing well and I hope you enjoyed the hardtop video. It's finally finished and it's on. Of course, it's not finished on the inside, but the outside is with counts right now. Uh, we are currently at Wolf Den Run in Western Maryland. Can't remember if it's Garrett County or Allegheny. I believe it's Garrett, but I could be wrong. Um, and we're out hitting some trails and doing some camping today. We're gonna camp the night tonight. And then we are going to head down to Flagpole Knob in the George Washington National Forest. And we're gonna camp for two more nights over there. So I'm looking forward to this trip. It's gonna be awesome. It's our first trip back with Josh being back home from uh, deployment. So we're kind of celebrating that. We're gonna have a good time. I'm excited. And so far the Jeep is handling great on the trails. There's a little bit of a popping noise that I'm trying to figure out, but we'll see. So stay tuned and we're gonna have some fun. what the noise was after some bouncing on the Jeep it was its rear sway bar not the mount to the axle or the mount to the inside of the frame it's where it's that L shape that bolt right there is clicking just need to go tighten it down I just want to get on something like dry ground it's so muddy here but uh, I'm just happy I found it and it wasn't anything bad like a control arm with missing nut or loose shock or anything like that but we got it under control
having a little fun at this little gravel top area, right? Yes. Him and I just went up in my Jeep yeah. on this Dad, steep it incline right here. Hey, he came out. He came off the ground, front tire. Did he actually? Yeah. <laughs> Destroyed that tree down there. currently airing up right now. Josh, a little demon dog bash. Um, I used my power tank to fill this up. I had just enough air for the four tires because I couldn't get it filled anywhere before we came on the trip. So it's empty and we're gonna have to air down and air up one more time. So I'm just gonna have to steal Josh's air from his ARB compressor. So that's the situation there, but He's waiting to get, he used my air tank on two of his tires. So did 637s from 15 to 35, 30, 35. So we're just waiting to air up, but this thing did great. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about that is loose. That right there. So every time I go up and down or there's uh, stress put on this, especially during articulation, it, it clicks inside there, it's just binding. I just need to tighten that bolt down, I think. We are all set up. Give you a tour around the campsite. Here's my dad. Ooh, it's all ice here too. We're supposed to get freezing rain tonight, but check that out. Ice is just covering everything here, but it's cold. We got a fire going. Here's my dad set up. Mark and Georgia in this, and they're actually using a diesel heater tonight. And then here's Josh in his setup, his little dog bash. And then here's the TJ. Rooftop tent, got the annex down. I'm gonna run my buddy heater in there so the heat just goes up inside there. So that'll be nice. It is absolutely freezing, so we are gonna get some food and surround by the campfire and have a good time, but I'm super excited with how this is. At uh, Overland Expo, we had it open this way, but we couldn't get into the tailgate. It is currently 6.30 in the morning, and if you hear, it's raining. And my GoPro, it's really cold, so my GoPro's probably gonna die, but, um, I slept really well. I ran the buddy heater for about four hours as I was going to sleep, heated up the tent, it was great. He cut out around 2 a.m. And uh, then I just relied on my sleep bag and my blankets to keep me warm and I was good to go. But there's ice everywhere. Like, everything's covered in ice. I don't know. If you can hear that ice. Everything's covered in ice, and um, it's freezing right, right now, so that sucks, but I need to get up because I want coffee and breakfast, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, and the reason why I didn't show dinner is because it started raining, and we were kind of rushing to get into a, an annex and eat, and we were kind of just over the weather, so <laughs> we... uh. Waited to get out of it and just 
eat some dinner and go to sleep. It is windy and cold and um, it's just a miserable, miserable day this morning. Um, but it's all good. We're still having a good time. We're camping. Can't have a bad time, right? Um, last night pretty much rained all night and it was sleeting. Everything was covered in ice this morning. And then the bottom of my annex flooded. So I had uh, like an inch of water in my annex. So that was fun to deal with when I was trying to. Uh, Radio check. I'm, gonna, I'm here. Gotcha. When I was trying to pack everything up. But uh, yeah, we have to go to probably hit up a store to get some more supplies like propane tanks and stuff like that. I went to two buddy or two propane tanks, the little one pound, I believe it is, uh, green ones, in just last night. So I need to re up on that stuff. We're gonna get some more supplies, lighters and stuff like that, because a lot of stuff got wet, paper towels, all that good stuff. So we're gonna have to re up and figure that out, but. Um, yeah, we were packed all up. We had to wait for a little bit of break in the rain to get packed up, but yeah, it, it's it's been a mess. So we're hoping today and um, the rest of the trip will be nice and dry. And it's supposed to be actually in like the 50s today where we're heading to at Flagpole Knob. So we'll see, I'm excited and uh, we're gonna just keep on having a good time. We hit the good old Wally Mart, Wally World, whatever you want to call it. Picked up our supplies, some uh, propane, some lighters that got wet, and my dad picked up two blankets too, so uh, he can be a little bit warmer. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I have a blanket underneath my sleeping bag and then a blanket over top, so I was super warm once my buddy here went out, but uh, yeah, he's doing the same thing. What do you say? Uh, Mr. Mark opened up the driver's side uh, door and Bash was sitting right there and uh, Mr. Mark went, ah. <laughs> He's scared of him. No. And then I got a, a pair of gloves just for uh, working on stuff when it's cold because I just have like my winter gloves like these. But I picked up just a pair of gloves like that that I can use if I have to Maybe wrench on something. We just stopped at Sheets to uh, pick up some food and also get some gas while we head on to our next location. But uh, I grabbed Dr. Pepper cream soda and just a Dr. Pepper regular because I want to add it to a little bit of a uh, drink later so we'll be doing that sour cream and onion chips and then I got a Italian sub but I'm so hungry so far the Jeep is handling great no issues at all with all the weight in the back and the bed um, it is a little bit more like sway if that makes sense like swaying back and forth i don't know if that's just because of all the weight that's in the back and it's just longer but uh it's handling really good on the trails like i'm really happy with it i just want to get it out on some rocks and see see how that works i definitely need to trim out my rear tire well area the fender well area to allow for more clearance for the wheel to go up. What? So far, so good. I'm really happy with it. We're out here just taking a break from driving and so he can use the bathroom. <laughs> but check out this spot we stopped at. Look how muddy this thing is. 
are you doing? Skipping rocks. These are some good rock, or uh, rock skipping rocks. Found a hot dog. Found a hot dog? Yeah, no. Oh, I found a good one. Oh, there you go. spot right there. I needed one of these really bad. <laughs> Coffee this morning did not, was not enough. My dad and I's turn to cook dinner. So we have potatoes, onions, and green pepper. And we got some steaks that are waiting to go on. We got some coleslaw, some macaroni salad. And then we're gonna be opening up this a special bottle from Hemmings. They sent it to us. I'm really excited to open this up and try that. But that'll be dinner. I'm really hungry. I know everyone else is really hungry. We're just now finishing up setup and uh, we're gonna get going. Well, my battery keeps dying, but we got, we popped this open. You, you like it? Oh, it's smooth, very yeah. smooth, very smooth. Can you have so, the light over here? very smooth. Okay, here's your lid, man. Everyone liked it. Finish. Mark, it was good. Did you like oh, it? Oh, brother, you awesome. Go ahead. Oh. You don't want your lid. No, not right down to your chassis. <laughs> right down to your chassis. That's good. Hi. Yeah. Appro appropriate right. for Hemmings. Okay. Steaks are going, we're gonna eat soon. I'm excited.
longer wheelbase is amazing. Right there, come on. Walk it, walk it. Right there. Yep. Straighten up. Low. Come straight. Just come straight. Straight. Oh, look at that thing. Climb. Drive. Uh, passenger. You're good. Woo. You're good. You're good. We are currently on our way to our next camping spot. Pretty much done with the trails for the day. Nothing crazy, pretty mild stuff. It was actually nice and relaxing to be able to test out the rig and get a feel for it on some easier stuff and not worry about going ham on it, on rocks and things like that. But I am ready. I've already been thinking like, I wanna take probably the rack off, the rooftop tent, and just make it an empty bed and I want to take this thing up to Roush AOAA and hit some rocks and see how it performs on the rocks without all the weight on the back so it has time more, more articulation in the rear with the weight off the back so we'll see I'm ready it's outperformed what I thought it was going to do on these trails and the longer wheelbase I'm in love with I'm so happy with it so but we're going to head to our next campsite we stayed here our last trip to Flagpole. It's right on the river and it's beautiful. And it's just, we had to go back to it. We were gonna compromise and stay at another site, but we couldn't do that to ourselves. So we're heading to that one and uh, we're gonna get camp set up and I think we're gonna have some burgers tonight. So ready to rock and roll, still having a good time. And I hope you guys are enjoying. Straight back, straighten up a little bit, straighten up. Keep going. All right, hard driver. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Straighten up a hair. Straighten up, straighten up. All right, hold it right there. We're gonna get Grab two. Come off of those. But like, how do you choose one, man? Actually, those can come off right now until we're ready. Just smash the burgers already. You want to explain what we're making? Uh, these are well, yeah. These are these are smash burgers. We're gonna smash them, and then we're gonna get a wrap out, and we're gonna cut the wrap, and you're gonna make four sections that you'll flip over on each other, and you'll have a burger wrap. 
I, like a, almost like a almost like a smash burger wrap. No, smash almost, burger wrap. Almost like a Taco Bell crunch thing, right? But with a burger. Like but a with a burger. Like a like smash it. wrap. You got it. Ooh, you got these at the gas station? Yeah. I got hey these there. at, I got these at that Bubba's gas station. Smell this one though. That smells good. It does smell good. Alright, here we go. Misfits. Last night. Last night. Just reigniting. Just yeah. a sack. Get in there. Sprite Zero. Have a here good go. time with you boys. I am. I'd mix this up. Yeah. I'm gonna be in trouble because we are not paid up. This is gonna go here. Okay. Yeah. In this quadrant. Okay. I wanna see All the right, folding, time. folding session. And go. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm kinda, switch. I'm kind of liking where this is headed. Uh, Alright, figure out. Ten seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, that's cool. All right, like Jackson, it. take a bite. I like that. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Let's see. Ow. Well, I uh, apologize for not being able to. Thanks for doing that for me. No problem. We're here. I apologize for not showing much in the evening or in the morning. The GoPros just shut off on me, so I had no way of uh, recording anything, which sucks. So I need to figure out a camera system or figure out something new, which I've been looking at the iPhones for recording. But uh, we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're on our way home now. We got everything packed up this morning. But, uh,. It's been fun, it was a good trip, especially a good trip of the first year, or first of the year. But um, we got about two and a half, or two hour and 15 minute ride back, which uh, we'll just cruise right along and look forward to the next trip, which will be towards the end of March. So I'm looking forward to that. With all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.